home insurance, fire insurance. So what insurance do I need? So hi, this is Minan. So first, I am not an insurance agent. But how, why did I wanted to record this video was basically because I received this from AIG. Okay, I'm not a representative, right? I'm not an agent. So they sent this to my home. I was thinking, what does a home insurance do? Because at the other side, what I had or what my parents did for our current unit was that there is another fire insurance. So between these two insurance, I want to find out what is really the difference so that uh, when I buy either of these insurance, I know what I'm buying for. Do you have the same question? What's the difference between a home insurance and a fire insurance? So in this video, uh, I'm just going to walk through. Okay, this is really my first foray into understanding more about this insurance because I think it's high time that I invest some time to go and understand more about, about this insurance and know what am I paying for. So let's head straight. Um, so basically this morning, uh, was just since I found, I, I opened up the letter and I look at this home AIG, definitely first thing for all insurance, I guess even you, you know, you, you will also do the same thing, is definitely to know what it is covering for the premiums I'm paying. So for this home insurance, uh, it's uh, covering household contents, alternative accommodation, personal liability, uh, personal accident, building, and bill relief protector for a five year premium, okay? Uh, this kind of different from what I record with my other policy, which is term as a certificate of fire insurance, okay? So I read through the entire clause to understand what uh, it's been covered. So it says, uh, there is this part. Um, this policy covers buildings, fixtures and fittings based on current standard and specifications for HDB flat, which includes flats sold by an approved developer under the design, build and sell scheme, excluding commonly, common property vested in or held in trust for HDB and any of the current or previous lessee mortgage renovations or improvements to the HDB flat and all household contents provided by HDB or the approved developer, which include but are not limited to built-in kitchen cabinets, cooker hood, cooker hook, air conditioning system, and building wardrobes at the location against fire, lightning, explosion, aircraft damage, bursting, and over water, an overflowing of water pipes, okay, and earthquake, smoke damage, vehicle impact damage, riot strike, malicious uh, damage, landslide, and subsidence. But definitely, what I just wanted to find out was. I want to compare Apple to Apple. So I look at these two type of insurance and I found out that, okay, now this AIG, it's almost covering for the same thing. Uh, it's not really covering the same things. Okay, let me repeat. It's not really covering the same things because when the first time I read it, I like to read things kind of fast and I thought it's covering the same things. But apparently, no, in my knowledge. Okay, because at the note one here, it says that household contents refer to your in interior decorations, fixtures, and fittings installed and not provided by HDB. Okay, HDB, uh, if you happen to be a foreigner, uh, HDB is our Singapore uh, official team that builds our buildings in Singapore, okay? So, household contents refer to your interior decorations, fixtures, and fittings installed and not provided by HDB your furniture, furnishing, clothing, and personal effects belonging to you and your immediate family or domestic worker permanently residing with you are covered. Okay. However, cash and currency notes are excluded from cover. So after reading these two and understanding a little bit more about these two types of insurance, I think, or I feel, it seems like it is complementing one another. One, uh, what the fire insurance covers whatever is being built by and provided by HDB whereas the other one that is provided by AIG home insurance it's covering the other side maybe the personal things that 
uh, I have put in my own home. So right now, uh, this is the first layer of differences that I start to understand between the, a home insurance and a fire insurance. So at least with this video, because it's on a, this kind of insurance are done on a five year uh, basis. So I just wanted to record this video so that next time if I want to review it, I can pull up this video and just review it, listen to what I had explain earlier on so that uh, it cut shorts my whole learning and also of course to you who's watching because probably you may be thinking like okay right now you just got your own home uh, should you get a home insurance and a fire insurance so based on my first conclusion I feel that they both complement so you might want to consider taking up both types of insurance just a caveat I am not an insurance agent so for all the official information right Please go and look for your official insurance broker. Okay. Um, if you found that this video has added some uh, value to you, and if your people around you who are also thinking about whether sh should they consider getting home insurance or fire insurance, just send them this video. Uh, definitely want to add some value to them. 